and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and today's show is all about Finances 2. Finances 2 is a personal accounting application for Mac, iPhone and iPad. It uses double entry bookkeeping, something I'll explain in a moment, and it allows you to generate your own statistics and statements about your income and expenses. It supports multiple currencies and syncs data between your devices using iCloud, so you don't need to worry about the security of an online system. There's a two-week free trial on each platform and then a one-time in-app purchase afterwards. Finances 2 for Mac is available from the Mac App Store. It's a free download which offers a two-week free trial. When you first open Finances 2, it has a short explanation of how double-entry bookkeeping works. As a short summary, money has to come from somewhere specific and go somewhere specific. So your salary comes from a category probably called salary and goes into your bank account. And when you buy pizza, it comes off of your credit card and goes into a category called food. Maybe a subcategory, eating out. If you need more details than my explanation and all the one on the intro page, click I don't understand that and a helpful web page will open with more details. After you click got it, you'll be asked what kind of journal you want to create. A journal is essentially a document in which you store the financial data. There are two choices. I'll choose a personal journal. The screen we see now is the same as when you usually launch finances too. It allows us to choose from a variety of journals, as well as create new journals, import data, and get further help. I'll go ahead and click on my personal journal to start. Because this is a brand new journal, there are no transactions in here whatsoever, but I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what everything is on our screen. First of all, on the left-hand side, we have an area with transactions, and these are smart groups where we can see all of our transactions, transactions which are yet to be marked as cleared, and repeating transactions, useful for keeping an eye on those upcoming bills. Under the transactions, we have accounts, and there are five types of accounts. Assets, where you have a positive amount of money, liabilities for a negative amount of money, income, and expenses. These are both selections of categories. So income would include categories like your salary and maybe dividends or stocks, whereas expenses will include things like food and rent or your mortgage. Equity represents values of things that you already own, such as the current balance in your bank account. And finally, at the bottom, we have currencies. Currently, I only have British Pound. That's because my device region is set to the UK. If your device region is set to the United States, then you'll probably have US dollar or Canadian dollar if you're in Canada and so on. You can add multiple currencies here, and I'll get back to this in a moment. In the personal template, Finances has added what we would think of typically as accounts for us. So under assets, you have checking and cash, and under liabilities, you have a credit card. Now, depending on your personal financial setup, you may have more than one credit card, multiple accounts, and even cash in different currencies. Now, depending on how frequently you use these other currencies, you may or may not want to add these as multiple cash balances. As this is something that I deal with, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I can do that. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, 
Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.